Hello, Carlita. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How was your day? Not bad, teacher. Not bad. Was it tiring? Yeah. I imagine. Me too. My day was very tiring as well, but it was nice. Hey, you have been the first student for the two days in a row. Yeah. Today, the first student. Yeah, all the, all the other ones are rushing and running and, <laughs> and connecting in the last minute. Yeah. These days are very crazy because of a lot of traffic. And there is like, ah, today was really horrible. It was full of traffic. And accidents everywhere. I mean, there are accidents everywhere. Yes. People just love to crash. I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, because there, I mean, near Salvador del Mundo, it's very common to to see a lot of accidents, and also near Galerias, it it's an, every day. I think there is an accident. Oh, yes. Yeah, there is almost almost an accident a day. But people are always rushing, and they and the problem. I think the biggest problem is that they are distracted sí. by the by the phone. And they don't realize that something sí. is coming and they just hit yeah. the other person. That's the most common cause of, of accidents here in El Salvador. Yeah, teacher. And do you drive to work or do you go by bus? Go by bus. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Now, now it's better to, to use the bus. Because I mean, I, I feel that it's a little bit safer and cheaper, right? Because gasoline is really expensive. Sí. Yeah, sí. I, I, I remember that. I, one day I was like thinking, right, hey, I need to, to, to take the bus and everything. And I was like kind of worried because of that. And, and I was like with the phone and putting the phone in, in the, at the back of the, of the purse and hiding everything, right? And then I went on the, on the bus. I went on a 52. And many people with the tablets, with phones, with the, the things in the phone and in, 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 the, in the bus. And I said, in like, the bus. yeah, I said, like, yo me veo sospechoso. <laughs> <laughs> and all of them are, like, very, very nice. I mean, people with, with the headsets, uh -huh. uh, listening to music with the phones with iPhones and I was like sí, yo escondí en el sí. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I was like yo soy la sospechosa <laughs> <laughs> because many people there to, with their things and they were so like they they were just like nice and, and, and they didn't care about anything else and that's nice I mean it, it is good because I mean, it, it is a safer place now, right? Tan mucho más seguro que antes. And sí. I said, man. <laughs> and I was very worried. Yo busqué escondiendo hasta la última moneda. Hasta la última moneda. Yeah, because I, I, I have been, yeah, I have suffered a lot of uh, thief attacks before. A lot. And I was like, I know. I said, another time. But then, I think the rest of the days, I was very happy there on the bus. And I said, más gran miedo que tenía. Hello, Aleida. Thank you for the tour around the house. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, teacher. Yeah, we, Good saw the, we saw everything. <laughs> now we know where to find the water and the, and the food and the refrigerator <laughs> and everything. Yeah, when I arrive at home, I have to uh, uh, prepare the the other uh, food, how do you say ration, uh, the, the comida? The servings. Okay, another serving uh, to my doggy. 
Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And they are they are very, very serious about that. I mean, yes. if not, they are behind you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He is always uh, in front of the kitchen and <laughs> stand up like ah, it is my it is my uh, my food, right? <laughs> it is my it's my like time. <laughs> Yes. No, Kiara, Kiara grabs her wakala and she throws it at me. Ella me tira el <laughs> yeah, Kiara comes comes to the office and, and she It's just demanding. Yeah, she she all of a sudden de repente estoy en clase and then I see the wakal flying like plum. And it's Kiara that I forgot. It. Oh. Well, my dear class, thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, connecting and being on time. I know it has been difficult now with more traffic in increasing every day, but I am very happy that you are all here uh, connect. Mr. Jose Luis, welcome. It is difficult to recognize you without the glasses. <laughs> it, it's a different Jose Luis, I said. <laughs> Good, Magdiel. Yeah, there you have them. Very good. Mr. Cesar, welcome, good Horacio. Good. Hello, Hernán. Hello, Ellen Nielsen. Miss Paola and Juan Francisco. Welcome. It is a great happiness to have you here. Okay, poor Paola. My God, she's sick. Okay, Paola, I will keep it in mind. I will keep it in mind. So, eh. Uh, As I told you yesterday, today, we are going to start working on uh, unit number three. Today, we start our week number three, right? And after this one, we have a, only one more after this one. And we finish our sessions and we finish our module on the 28th. So something that is something that you need to keep in mind. On the last day of classes in the in, in English Corporativo, on the last day of the module, eh, no sé si ya los que han estado previamente aquí, pues saben de la encuesta que se realiza al final del módulo. ¿Ya la han realizado los demás? Yes. Ok, no, para los que sean, para los más nuevitos. Al final de cada módulo se realiza una encuesta de satisfacción. Eh, se las van a enviar a su correo. Eh, días antes, pero la encuesta se hace durante la clase, ¿ok? Para que evitemos el, 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 el fallo, ¿verdad? que a veces nos la mandan al correo y el mismo día la llenamos. Eh, es una cuestión de, 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 de protocolo y proceso que se realiza durante el, eh, la clase, eh, durante la última clase. Okay, nos toma unos minutitos nada más terminarla, pero eh, va, va guiada. ¿vea? Yo les voy diciendo que okay, llenemos la pregunta número uno, la pregunta dos, la tres, la cuatro, y ahí los voy guiando en, este, en la encuesta de satisfacción. Y pues eso se realiza en clase, para que lo tengamos en mente, porque de repente la recibimos y dice, favor llenar la encuesta, Ajá, pero se llena en clase. ¿vea? Entonces, eh, para que lo tengamos en mente y no la llenemos antes, para que todo el proceso esté eh, ordenado. Eso sería en el último día, que sería el día 28 para nosotros, el, día, el último día del módulo. Ese día lo haríamos juntos. ¿Ok? Ese anuncio lo tenía ahí en mente. Yo dije, tengo varios que son nuevos y para que no les vaya a llegar de repente y la llene. Hernán, dígame. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Una consulta. Finalizando este módulo, eh, prácticamente estaríamos entrando al intermedio. Pues eh, vamos eh, después de eh, Beginners, vamos con Pre-Intermediate, después vamos con Intermediate y después Advanced. Siempre el Pre-Intermediate tiene una etapa ahí de, de, de unos cuantos módulos antes de, de, de pasar ya a Intermedio, que ya es como el Intermedio, ya es la entrada al, 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 a los niveles avanzados. Esto va volando, así que... Pero tocaría esto en diciembre. Yo o... creo que sí. O oh, no sé si lo van a empezar eh, justo en esa misma semana. Hay que estar bien pendientes del correo, bien pendientes de la información que les envíen, porque acuérdense que tenemos como a la último, que el último, las últimas semanas del año, pues. Y uh -huh. creo que hay, que hay que sacarles todo el provecho posible. Pero eh, tienen que estar muy pendientes de la información que les envíen para, para ¿cómo se llama? Para seguir con, 
con, con el orden de sus cursos, el papeleo que tienen que enviar, creo que a la mitad del módulo, no sé si ya enviaron sus, sus formularios o cosas así, no les han enviado todavía nada. Bueno, por mi parte no he recibido ningún correo todavía. Ajá, sí, es que ahorita estamos todavía como entrando a la mitad, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos que estar pendientes de todo lo que venga, eso sí, no descuiden el, el, el correo, siempre estenlo revisando paulatinamente, porque no va a ser que de repente, ah, chi, ya me lo habían mandado, ¿verdad? no lo había visto. Revisen el spam, todo ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, Hay que estar entonces, pendientes. Eso significa que no vacation por holiday. <risa> el 31 todos vamos a tener nuestro pan con chumpe aquí y vamos a celebrar juntos <risa> sí, así va. hay que, ahí podemos traer este, ¿cómo se llama? unos cohetes virtuales para reventar aquí aquí nos vamos a estar dando el abrazo de navidad aquí vamos a estar haciendo aquí los juegos artificiales a medianoche aquí Muy tenemos bien. de todo se no tenga pena ¿verdad? Aquí okay. no, no va a haber, van a haber panes con pollo también <risa> para, para sí. celebrar. Y pues obviamente que vamos a tener las cumbias también. Vamos a tener unas cuantas cumbias aquí para bailar. Así que va a haber un poco de todo. Celebración, ay. <risa> aquí okay. vamos a estar en Navidad a las 12. La clase va a ir de 10 a 12 para que nos podamos dar el abrazo. <risa> Yeah, it's a Merry Christmas, people. I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, vamos a hacer Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> bueno, ya 2023, vamos a seguir con la clase. <laughs> no, I, I, I think you are going to have your Christmas break. Yes, mm -hmm. sí, creo que sí tienen su, su break de Christmas, ¿verdad? de Christmas y New Year. Pero no, no se preocupe, <laughs> que no lo voy a tener aquí. Ay, teacher, se me está quemando el pavo. <laughs> In the middle of the class, right? No. Y yo uh, dando la clase desde allá del cuco, ¿verdad? Bueno. Okay. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Vamos a tener unos gorritos navideños aquí. ¡Tarán! Merry Christmas. No, I think you are going to have your Christmas break. But you have to be very pendent about the information uh, for the new schedules, for the new dates. And to keep studying and to keep practicing. Well, so uh, let's move on business then. Let me see, let me open my presentation, my class, and for sure, we are going to start working today. So uh, today, as I told you, this unit is very curious. We are going to talk a lot about the different uh, human resources activities And we are going to also talk about the different descriptions of the different positions at work. And uh, we are going to talk a lot about uh, the profiles of the workers. And uh, we are going to discuss a lot about how people should be and how people should be ready for uh, the different work areas that they have. And, uh, we are going to be discussing uh, a lot of vocabulary, right? We're going to use a lot of vocabulary related to human resources. That is mainly unit number three. We are also going to practice a uh, present continuous, right? ING forms. And um, for the next one, I am going to ask you to start preparing for that one because the final unit is about the past tense. So if you haven't studied past tense for a long time, I invite you to go and undust, right? Que me desenvolven un poquito ahí. The verbs, right? The different verbs, the different verb forms in the past, right? Eh, no es en esta unidad, pero en la siguiente. Vamos a estar desarrollando el, el pasado, el uso del pasado. So a lot of pronunciation of past tenses. We are going to work a lot on verbs. So please, if you haven't reviewed that for a long time, it's the moment for you to remember it, okay? El momento de ir a desenterrar esas listas de verbos que ocupamos en alguna vez. For you to remember the pronunciation, the past tense, right? And for you to remember the difference between the regulars and the irregulars, okay? So you are not going to be Uh, studying that. If you don't have, I am going to share some of some of them with you 
So you can actually uh, review and practice, okay? Si no tienen de repente mucho conocimiento acerca del past tense, les voy a compartir diferentes documentos para que puedan irse preparando. Okay? That is one of the most difficult topics of English. It is complicated to talk and to review and to change the verbs and to put the, the endings, the pronunciation of the endings. ¿Qué cuál se pronuncia como te? ¿Cuál como de? ¿Cuál como e de? So it's pretty complicated. But we're going to review that. Don't worry. So, welcome to our class number 11. And this is going to be about human resources area. To start today, we are going to uh, remember our agreements, right? Remember to practice your English as much as possible, to ask for help when needed, to keep your cameras on all the time, to keep microphones off if we are not using it, to attend all your sessions on time, to participate as much as possible, to keep a cooperative attitude during class, to collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group, and for sure, to be checking the platform every single day, right? I am going to call the attendance so we can start with our topics of the day. Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, so I can call your attendance, even if you are a listener today because you are sick, uh, make sure that you answer, okay? Make sure that you answer so I can call your attendance here. Let's see. Where are you? Here you are. And, okay. Here I go, my dear class. Hey, that's so nice. Let's see, let's see. The 15. Aleida Esmeralda? Present teacher. Andrea Sofia? Andreita. Blanca Alejandra. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo. Present. Cesar Romero. Mr. Cesar peleando con sus audífonos. Ellen Nielsen. Present teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Siempre no juegan ahí, no juegan mal. Eric José. Eh, Hernán Antonio. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Horacio José. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Luis. Present, teacher. Juan Francisco. Carla Guadalupe Flores. Present, teacher. Nelson Alberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Paola Elena. Present, teacher. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher, uh, I am a listener tonight. Okay, good, good. I will keep it in mind. Rafael Antonio Barrera. Hey, and Rafael Antonio, people. He was sick yesterday. I hope he continues feeling better. Raul Ernesto. Raulito, se nos ha perdido Raulito, ¿qué pasó? Ok, eh, Wilber Alberto. Present. Jasmine Elizabeth. Present teacher. And McDiel. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Ok, so eh, I think I didn't miss anybody. Juan Francisco says present teacher in the chat. Good. Ok, let's go back here. And let me see. Okay, here I go. I will close this one. I am not using it anymore. So in the previous class, right? Remember we were working a little bit on the uh, tongue twisters, right? Yesterday I told you that we were coming from, from the weekend and everything. And I said, okay, and everything. Yeah. Do you remember the one that you chose to practice? Ajá. ¿Se recuerdan cuál era el que habían escogido? Cada uno escogió uno. So, we are going to do a, a short practice on it today. Ok. 
Okay, uh, Magdiel, do you remember which one did you choose? The second one. Okay, can you help us with that one, please? Vamos, Magdiel, lo escuchamos. How much wood would I would chuck, chuck, if I would chuck, could chuck wood? Okay, good, very good. You did it, very good. Yeah, you, you survived, you survived. Ellen Nielsen, do you remember yours? Yeah, the last one. Go ahead. Okay, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. Very good job, very good job. You did a very nice job. Hey, fantastic. Mr. Carlos Eduardo, do you remember yours? Uh, yes, the first Which one? one. The first one, go ahead. Yes, uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. The shells, she sells are seashells, I'm sure. Very nice, yay. Hernan, do you remember yours? Okay. How much bull? Bull, a bull chop chop. If a bull chop, bull chop bull. Excellent, yay. You see. <laughs> nice. Aleida, do you remember yours? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher, I remember, but I am bad with this one. Okay. Don't worry, um, don't worry. Peter Piper picked a uh, pick of pickle peppers. A uh, pepper of pickle peppers, Peter Picker, Piper Pick. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, it was good. <laughs> so, so, so. It was good. Very good, very good. Blanca Alejandra, do you remember yours? Yes, the first one. Go ahead. She sells seashells on the seashore. The she's the shells she sells are, are seashells, I'm sure. Very nice, Blanquita. Excellent. Good job. Cesar, do you remember yours? No, not remember. Okay. Pick one. Escoja uno. And try to read it. Peter Piper, Picker, a pack of Picker, Piper, a pick of Picker, Piper. Piper, better, piper, bigger. Okay, you did a good effort. A good effort, right? You did, you, you did your best effort. Good, very good. Carla Flores, do you remember yours? She shells. She shells shells on the sea shore. The shells she shells are sea shells, I'm sure. Good, you did a good effort. You did a good effort. Very nice. Let's see. Uh, who am I missing? Who am I missing? Jasmine, did you have yours? Ah, perdí a Jasmine. Se me fue. Justo tiempo, huh? Yeah, Paulita is feeling sick. Wilbur, do you remember yours? Yes. Go ahead. How much wood would a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop wood? <laughs> Excellent job, right? You did a very good effort on that one. Excellent. Well, I have many listeners today. That's a, a little bit complicated because I cannot be interrupting them because they are doing, I don't know, things about their life. Okay, so um, we're going to have a short discussion time, right? And I have different topics for you to choose between them. But the idea of the discussion is that you produce right, that you produce and express your ideas about the different situations I am going to give you. Many of the situations that I will present are kind of curious and you have to analyze it a little bit and you will say like, mm, I don't really know, but maybe this one, right? We're going to discuss and for sure, I want all of you to uh, talk about it. I have 10 different situations about would you rather. Do you know the meaning of would you rather? ¿Saben qué significa would you rather? Any idea? Mm, would you rather is like preferirías. Uh -huh. Okay. Preferirías. And the first situation is, okay, le voy a decir la situación y de ahí lo vamos a discutir entre todos and then I'm going to read the next one and uh, we're going to discuss. Okay, the first situation is, would you rather eat nothing but ice cream or nothing but pizza for a year? Would you rather eat nothing but ice cream or nothing but pizza for a year? 
what would you prefer? ¿Qué preferirían? It's a hypothetical situation, right? Eat ice cream for one year or pizza for one year? What would you, what would you decide? For, pizza for one year, pizza. Why? Uh, because I don't like it too much, ice cream. Uh -huh. Because I don't like ice cream too much. What about the rest? Okay. ¿Qué preferirían? ¿Ice cream or pizza for one year? Maybe pizza. Pizza, why? Because you can survive the pizza. <laughs> because you can survive. <laughs> because you can survive with pizza, but not with ice cream. Good, good answer. That's a good answer. Uh -huh. I prefer maybe uh, ice cream. Ice cream, why, Carlos Eduardo? Because the uh, pizza is a uh, fast food and uh -huh. I can eat another fast food like hamburger or chicken. And I can survive without pizza. <laughs> okay, you can survive without pizza, right? There are other options. I need one more volunteer. Pizza for a year or ice cream for a year? Uh huh. I prefer pizza because it's like a food in every moment. Okay, it's like a food and you have varieties, right? You can have sweet pizza, salty pizza, Hawaiian pizza, meat pizza, chicken pizza, many different types. Good, very nice. The second situation, would you rather be able to fly or to be invisible? Invisible. <laughs> Why? Because uh, you can uh, say in every every place and uh, nobody can see you. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué preferirían, volar o ser invisible? I prefer fly. fly. My <laughs> okay, Eduardo says fly and el, and el Nilsson says fly. El Nilsson, why fly? Because I would like feel what the birds feel. Okay, you would like to feel what the birds feel, right? To be free. Carlos Eduardo? Free, free. For the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> you have a point there, right? For the traffic. Yeah, it's like, huh, I'm late. <laughs> and then you go to your I job. I prefer fly to teacher. Flying, why? Because uh, if I can fly, I can travel to other countries. Okay, without visa, right? Correct. <laughs> I let go to Europe <laughs> and then you just go. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, being invisible. Well, Blanquita wants to be invisible. That's cool, right? Cesar, what would you choose? Flying or being invisible? Uh, flying. Flying, right? Flying. It would be faster to go to different places. What about the next one? Would you like to be a great dancer or a great singer? Would you rather be a great dancer or a great singer? A great sing singer. Why? Because uh, money. <laughs> <laughs> money. Well, indeed, you don't have to be a great singer to be famous, right? Tenemos unos cuantos ejemplos por ahí de unos cuantos conejos malvados, ¿verdad? Que son horrible singers and they are very famous, right? Yeah. But if you are a good singer, that would be nice, right? A great singer. Let's see the rest. What do you think? What do the rest think? Good singers or great dancers? Which one would you prefer? Hey, I have Raul now. Hello, Raul. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. It's a pleasure to have you back. <laughs> uh -huh. Only Cesar answered that one. Great singer. A great singer, Jose Luis, too, for the money. The payment is really good. The payment is really good. 
The next one says, would you rather eat only fruit or vegetables for the rest of your life? Would you eat only fruit or only vegetables for the rest of your life? In my case, I prefer only fruit. Only fruits. Uh -huh. It has a uh, most flavors, a uh, best flavors. Okay, it has better flavors. Better flavors than vegetables. Okay, what about the rest? ¿Qué piensan los demás? What do you think? I mm. think I prefer uh, fruit than vegetables uh, because I think we, we have some uh, fruits that we think are vegetables, but are they are fruit. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, good. So we have fruits that are, are disguised as vegetables, so they can be both, right? That's good. Would you rather be a cat or a dog? Would you rather be a cat or a dog? A cat, a dog, because I don't like the cat. <laughs> a dog. Uh -huh. uh, a dog I teacher, prefer... but a, un consentido. How do you say consentido in English? A, a dog? Ah, a pampered. Pampered. Oh, a pampered dog, yeah. A pampered dog, yeah, yeah. The ones that have everything, right? Camita, comida, cadenita, yeah. yeah. Mm. Good. No, I think I will be an aguacatero dog. A big one. Uno de esos patudos, así que tienen la cola larga, así que le pegan a todos con la cola. I would love to be an aguacatero dog. Yeah. They live longer. Los aguacateros viven como 20 años. So it's like 100 dog years. Jose Luis, what were you going to say? Would you like to be a cat or a dog? Maybe a cat. A cat. Why? They don't work. They sleep a lot. They what sleep about, all the time. They sleep all the time, right? They sleep all the time. They don't work. They just eat and exist. Hernan? Um, I am a dog. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Why? Why would you like to be a dog? A dog, yes. It is um, uh, strong. Mm -hmm. um, it got uh, um, um, como se dice que, que es más listo. They are Pero smart. Es smart. Es smart. Uh -huh. ah, okay, they are smarter but weaker. They are smarter, but weaker. Sí. I will I will send it to you on the chat. Okay, se lo voy a poner en el chat para que lo pueda copiar. They sí, are... Ajá, uh -huh, yes, for sure. Let me uh -huh. see, here it is. So you say, cats are smarter, but weaker. Okay. Esos dos son las formas comparativas de los adjetivos. Smarter, but weaker. Okay, good. What, what, is, weak, what does it mean, weaker? Weaker, débil. Más débil. Weaker, solo el, el adjetivo weak es débil. But if you say weaker, with the ER, is débil, right? Weak is the adjective. Eso es débil. But if you say weaker, con la terminación ER, lo está comparando y es más débil. So it's like big. And in the comparative form, you say it is bigger. Right? You can say that it's long. And in the comparative form, it will be longer. Because largo es el más largo. And then, es más largo que. And then, if you say, the longest es 
el más largo. Right? There you have comparatives and superlatives. Esa es como otra. And weak, and weak and superlative going to be weaker. The weakest. The weakest. Good. The next question is curious. Would you rather have three eyes or three ears? ¿Qué preferirían? ¿Tres ojos o tres orejas? Imagine the glasses. Imagínense los lentes. <laughs> I would prefer have uh, eyes in my back. The third one here, right? The yeah. third eye. <laughs> yes, three eyes. And because three ears, it would be like, I know, noisy. Más, más ruido. No, no, no. I, I would rather have three eyes, right? Dos verdes y un café. That would be cool, right? Three eyes. The next one says, would you rather be a math genius or a musical genius? Would you rather be a math genius or a musical genius? Uh, I would prefer uh, a musical genius. A musical genius, right? To work with Cesar and to become famous. So am I the chair? A, math, a musical genius. Yes. Yes, a, a math genius, are, I think it's complicated, but you will have a lot of money, right? Imagínate si sos un genio de las matemáticas. You will be very smart. But the music always pays, right? Always gives money. Would you rather, number eight, would you rather be fluent in every language or to be able to talk with animals? For me to be able to talk with animals, teacher. Imagine the money that you will make as a veterinarian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, the cat or the monkey said that he has a stomachache. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> Imagine to be fluent in every language. I would like to be fluent in every language. I would like to be fluent in every language because I can have a, I can Community? I can get more, I can get the uh, best work. The, yeah, the best, the best job. You know, it is, it is so kind of frustrating when you listen to people talking in different languages and, and you don't know and you don't understand, right? A mí me pasó en la beca que habían 20 maestros de 20 países del mundo. Y, and, and they, some of them speak uh, Chinese, some of them speak in, in Thai, in, in, in uh, I don't know, Swahili, and the, the different languages. And I was like, I... <laughs> so it was very complicated when I listened to people in different languages. And I just knew English, right? And French and a little bit of Spanish here and there. But to be fluent in every language, it would be fantastic. But to talk to animals, it would be even better, right? Ellen Nilsson, which one would you choose? Yeah, in every language. In every language, right? To talk with everybody. Yeah. And the number nine, would you rather be able to breathe underwater or survive in space? Breathe in the space. Okay, survive in space. Survive in the, sp in the space. <laughs> How cool it would be, breath. right? To be breath underwater. To breathe underwater. Why? Because the space, I will never go. <laughs> you will, never, will go. never go. That's a good thing, right? It will, you, it will be difficult, but to go underwater, imagine to go inside the ocean, like La Sirenita, yeah. right? That would be nice. <laughs> that would be very cool. And the last question. Would you rather meet a very famous person or an alien? Would you rather meet a very, very famous person or an alien? Uh, 
I would like to meet a famous person in the past. Okay, a famous person from the past. Who? Yeah. Who would you like to meet? I would like to know Selena Quintanilla. Selena, yay, for sure, right? Yeah, I would have liked to, to meet Selena. Carlos? Uh, maybe I combine uh, the Lisa <laughs> and alien with the, ever, the fluent languages because I can okay. talk with the alien. <laughs> okay, now that you're fluent in all the languages, you would like to meet the alien, right? That's so cool. Okay, Hernan, which one? Which one would you prefer? Meet aliens. To meet an alien, right? See, see, yeah. <laughs> that would be so crazy, right? We're like, eh. <laughs> okay, good, good, very good. Uh, you never know. Quizás ya hasta ya los conocemos y ni sabemos. Sí, es probable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you never know. Uh, let's okay. see, Jose Luis, which one would you choose? Maybe meet a famous person. Which famous person would you like to meet? Adele, maybe. Adele, yeah, me too. <laughs> I will die there if I if I see her. Cesar, I cannot listen to you. A famous person. A famous person. Which famous person? I Pelé. Pelé, hey, okay, Pelé. That could, that could be very, very, very nice, right? To meet a very famous person. Carla Flores? Um, in my case, mm, a famous person. Which famous person? Mm. A quien, the, a, a quien the, uh -huh. the Prince Diana. Okay, Prince Princess, Diana. Princess Diana. Wow, that would be very, very nice, right? To meet Princess Diana. Okay, so this is good. And the, the idea of this type of questions is that you think far from an answer to tell me why. It's like, mm, yeah, I would like to do this and this, but why, right? And uh, you can express your opinion about the different cases. Thank you very much for your answers, my dear class. So I have here a very short practice uh, from the sentences that we were doing yesterday, right? I try to include a little bit of questions now for us to uh, end up working with the topic. And it starts right here. Okay, we have two conversations here. And the first conversation goes like this. It says, what do you do? Okay, what is the meaning of this question, people? What do you do? Or in which cases do you use it? En qué casos ocupáramos esta pregunta? ¿Qué tú haces? When we talk about something that we do in every time. Okay, we use it for questions about professions. What do you do? For example, in my case, I am a teacher, right? What do you do? I am a teacher. That is my profession, right? Jose Luis, what do you do? What is your profession? I have a bachelor degree in marketing. Uh -huh. So I am a business men right because you work in marketing right or is it like what do you do i work in marketing right what about ellen nielsen what do you do i am a uh, air marshal i am a very good i am an air marshal very good carla flores what do you do i am receptionist of the call center I am a receptionist. Very good. Carlos Eduardo, what do you do? Yeah, I am a technical support. I am a technical support engineer. Very good. Let's see. Aleida, what do you do? I am I'm a account receivable clerk. Very good. I am a clerk. Very good. Hernan? 
I am electrician. I am an electrician. You say an electrician. 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 Blanca, what do you do? I am a collection agent in a call center. A collection agent. Very good. Cesar Amaya, what do you do? I am a, a computer system engineer. I am a computer system engineer. Very good. Rafael Alexander, what do you do? He's working. Magdiel, what do you do? I'm a, I am a mechanic. A mechanic, very good. Uh, Horacio, what do you do? I am business manager. I am a business manager, good. Uh, let me see, Wilbur, what do you do? I am a dark technician. Okay, you are a technician, very good. And Raul Gonzalez, what do you do? I am a graphic designer. A graphic designer, right? So that is the answer of this question. What do you do? A que te dedicas, que es lo que haces? And this one says, I am a full-time student and I study the violin. And here it says to school, but here in the answer, you have a place. What do you need to ask in the question if in the answer you are going to have a place? ¿Qué tendríamos que ponerle a la pregunta? It says, I am a full-time student. I study the violin. And do you to school? I, and in this one, I am going to complete this one for you to know the question. And it says, I go to the New York School of Music. What would be the question? ¿Cómo haríamos la pregunta? Where? 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 Okay. Where you so you say, and where do you go? Go. And where do you go to school? I go to the New York School of Music. Wow. Do you like your classes? I like them a lot. In this case, you are going to ask the question, how? And in this case, when it says, how do you like your classes? It's like, que te parecen tus clases? How do you like your classes? I like them a lot, okay? So that would be the first conversation. If I say, what do you do, people? Sigamos la conversación. What do you do? I'm a full-time student. I am a full-time student. I study the violin. And where do you go to school? I go to the New York School of Music. Wow, how do you like your classes? I like, I like them, them a lot. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Very good. Now, ask me the first question. What do you do? What do you do? I am a teacher. I teach English. Um, and where do you where go? Do you go? Do you go to school? school. Okay, where do you go to school? I go to English Corporativo in El Salvador. Wow. Wow. How do you learn do you learn your class? Your class? I love them. I have great students. Okay, so you see that it's a, a good way of doing the conversations. Let's do the second conversation. In this case, you are talking about Tanya. You are missing the auxiliary of the question. What is the auxiliary that we are missing? Das. What does, very good. What does Tania do? ¿Qué es lo que ella hace? ¿De qué trabaja? What do you do is for you, right? What does she do? It's like, ¿qué hace ella? Right? She is a teacher. She, what do teachers do? ¿Cuál sería el verbo para el teacher? She is a teacher. She. Sí. Learn. Mm, an art class at a school in Denver. Uh -huh. Teaches. She teaches, right? She teaches, very good. She teaches, right? She teaches an art class at a school 
in Denver. The teacher teaches, right? The singer sings. The walker walks. So she's a teacher. She teaches an art class at a school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does, does he work? Where does he work? He works. He works. Very good. He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. Does he do exactly? What? 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 Very good. What does he do exactly? ¿Qué es lo que él hace? Exactamente. I mean, he's a website designer. A designer Designs. Designs, right? A designer designs. Ay, sorry. Designs. A designer designs fantastic websites, right? Okay, people. What does Tanya do? She's a teacher. She's a teacher. Uh -huh. She's a teacher. She teaches in class and school member. Very good. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works for a big company. And what does he do exactly? He's a website designer. Fantastic websites. Fantastic websites. Very good job. Okay. So that is good. And this is another form, including questions in WH form. So here, let me just erase this one. Here, I have a couple of sentences that need to be fixed a little bit. The first one, the problem with the first one, it says like he go, and that is totally incorrect because you cannot use go with he. You use he goes to bed early. What about the second sentence? Let me just make it bigger for you to read it, okay? What is the problem with sentence number two? The auxiliary. The auxiliary. What is the problem with the auxiliary? Uh, do. It do. has to be do, right? Do they do. live in Canada? Because you have the they plural do. form, right? What about the next one? Uh, I am usually cook dinner for my family. What is the problem with this sentence? The verb cook. To be. The verb cook or the verb to be. The verb to be, yes. The verb to be, right? The verb to be because you don't use you don't use it before usually when you have a different verb, right? Porque aquí tendríamos verbo aquí y verbo aquí, right? So you say eh, I usually cook dinner for my family, right? You don't say, yo soy usualmente cocino, right? It's not possible. What about the next one? Are they have a meeting every week? The verb to be. The verb to be. What should we write here? Do. Do, right? We should write do. Uh, do. Do they, have a Do they have a meeting every week? Very good job. And what about number five? The auxiliary. The auxiliary, right? The auxiliary. And it says she doesn't, doesn't, doesn't right? She doesn't like tennis, right? She doesn't like tennis because it is not correct to say she don't, right? Number six. What is the problem with number six? Has. Has. Why? Because it has. Oh. Because as you have the auxiliary does, it has to be in the normal form, right? And it has to be have. Okay. Oh. Very good. Does John have enough money? Very nice. What about number seven? The verb no. Aha. Uh -huh knows no. right he knows the answer number eight Search. robert plays baseball on the weekend 
Robert the plays the baseball on the weekend. The verb play. What is the problem with the verb play? The E, right? You don't need the letter E, right? It's only place. Very good. The next one. Has. Uh -huh. What is the problem with has? Yeah. It has to be have, right? Yeah. They have lots of free time. Number 10. Stay. Do they usually drive into work? Driving. driving. Driving, right? The problem is driving. Right. What should we write here? Drive. Right. Drive, right? With the E, right? Drive to work. What about the next one that we have here? Let's see. I am going to go next door here. Number 11 says, Jenny is not work at a restaurant. Works. Jenny. Jenny is not. Uh, at... Uh-huh. What is the problem? At work. Work. Whatever to be. Aha. Uh -huh. What will be the Jenny, correct form? Jenny doesn't work at a restaurant. Very good job. Jenny doesn't, right? Jenny <coughs> doesn't, right? Or does not work at a restaurant. What about number 12? Worries. Worries, right? The worries. This is incorrect, right? It has to be I E S. She worries too much about exams. Okay? Worries. What about this one? My father wants to travel to Spain. My travels. father wants to travel to explain to Spain. Travels. Aha. Uh -huh. My father wants to travel, travel to Spain. The next one. Why you study English? Why do you? Why do you? Very good. Why do you? To make a complete question. Why do you study English? And I am going to stop on this question. Why do you study English, people? Why do you study English? ¿Por qué estamos aquí? Uh, let's see. Give me a reason. Because I want to improve my knowledge and my pronunciation. Very good. Because I want to improve my knowledge and my pronunciation. Yes, Ellen Nielsen. Um, because I like it. Always. Because you have always liked it. Tell me the rest. Hernan, why are you here? Um, to learn. To learn, right? To learn more. Uh, see, to, to learn uh, uh, other language. To learn a different language. Good. Carlos Eduardo, why are we here? ¿Por qué estamos um, aquí? Cuéntenme. Um, because I would like to improve my English as well. Because you want to improve your English, right? Good. Horacio, why are we here? I want to learn to speak English. Because you want to learn to speak English. Uh, Raul, why are you here? Uh, because I want to learn more about English and then apply to another job. <laughs> In the future, right? In the future. No, right now. Al jefe no le ha gustado esto. To apply later on, right? When you learn. Good. Magdiel, why are we here? Uh-huh. Había dejado olvidado mi café ahí tiradito un rincón. Ni me acordaba. Si no veo a Ellen Nilsson, no me acuerdo. Let's see. Magdiel. Perdimos a Magdiel. Ah, no, he's here, he's here. Ya vino. <laughs> Papá, te está hablando la teacher. <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you learning English? 
Mm, uh -huh. Because it's, it's important for me. It is important. Good. Cesar, why are you learning English? I cannot listen to you, honey. Important uh, in my job. It is important for your job. Good, Jose Luis. Because I want to improve my English, maybe get a new job. Okay. Good, very good. Ya van a decir todo. Ah, no, teacher, ya no me la sigue enseñando. Se me van a ir. No, in the future, in the future. And the last one, it says, he doesn't drink tea. Drink. The problem is? Drink. Drinks, right? It has to be only drinks. Okay. It has to be without the S yes, because you have the auxiliary here. And if you have the auxiliary, the verbs are normal. Great job, my dear students. Very nice recognition of the mistakes. Now I am going to move a little bit on the book here. Let me see, here it is, my book, my book. It's right here. Okay, on your book, on the manual, we were doing this yesterday, right? Esto fue lo que estuvimos haciendo el día de ayer, the different exercises of a simple present. And in this one, we are going to work a little bit on the conversation that we have for unit number three. Tell me, what do you know about the human resources department in your company? ¿Qué hacen los de recursos humanos? Uh -huh. And don't tell me nothing because they have a lot to do. What do human resources do in your company? Select person in company. Okay. Very good. Select the personnel for the company. Good. What else? Introduce the personnel. Okay, you in, they, they introduce the personnel to the new job place. Good. What else do they do? Teacher, how do you say um, about they made the planilla? The payroll. They oh, the do payroll. the payroll. They do the payroll. Okay, thank you. Okay. No, but I think the payroll is accounting, right? Yes, accounting. Uh -huh. The payroll yeah. is on accounting. Uh, human resources keep track of all the workers and the, and the different... Uh, the time that they enter, the time that they leave, permissions and everything. But the payroll is in charge of contabilidad. El pobre contador es el que está ahí. Maybe they are, they are the ones in charge of, of paying, right? But all the payroll is on the accounting, right? Las que depositan, sí, quizás, tal vez son ellas, pero todo el trabajo lo hacen. El pobre contador. <laughs> to find the money to pay everybody. Okay. Uh, human resources, right? They take care of all the personnel. They celebrate birthdays. They do the social events of the company. Right? But the most important thing is the personal selection. Right? They select everybody for the company. Right? That is the most uh, important thing. And they know everything about everybody. Ellos le saben todo ahí, el historial a cada uno de ustedes. So, here we have a short conversation about an interaction in, uh, in this area. And it says, okay, Mr. Chen is looking for two employees at the uh, company, RC company, that's the name of the company. And we're going to read the conversation. And it says, Excuse me, I am looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Right, Mrs. Este title lo ocupamos para una señora casada. Right, Mrs. The M and the S. A la señora Chavez. Right, es una señora casada. Sure, she is the, recruit, the recruitment coordinator. 
I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, he says, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Mr. se ocupa para hombres, ya sea casados o solteros. Ahí no hay distinción. Mr. Salgado. Um, what, and does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? And it says, yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I, where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock, right? The question, where can I reach him? It's like, donde lo encuentro? O en que momento puedo encontrarlo? It's like, he returns at one o'clock, okay? New words or new co new vocabulary from the conversation? Palabras nuevas, vocabulary nuevo. Teacher, but when you say reach is uh, like contactarlo. Yes. Where can I find him? Right? Where can oh, I reach okay. him? Donde lo encuentro? Donde lo contacto? Where can I reach him? Oh. He returns at one o'clock. Él regresa. A la una. Any other question? Miss, yes, I have a question. Yep. Uh, Mrs. is like a single woman. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, we have. I will. I will write them for you. Aha. Uh -huh. so go with your question. Uh, but. Well, the, the woman is uh, Mary. Okay. It's Mrs. or Miss. Okay, I am going to write them for you. Here, let me see if I can make it bigger. Yes. Okay. Para las chicas, este es un poco, este es un poco complicado, pleca injusto, vea. These three are for the girls. And this is only for the boys. Miss, que es el primero, Miss, significa señorita, soltera, no ring, right? Mrs., this one, es señora, cuando no sabemos si está casada o no, pero ya es señora, right? Miss, and Mrs., this one, it is señora casada, right? This is very common for writing. Okay. This is very, very common for writing. For the men, casado, no casado, viudo, soltero, divorciado, dejado, whatever, mister. ¿Cómo sabes si está casado o no está casado? We never know. Okay. Because in, in, for the ladies, is señora de... Mrs. Flores, you say. Okay. Mrs. Arevalo, señora de tal cosa. Right? Miss is the only one that is for single ladies. Señorita Flores, por ejemplo. But Miss and Mrs. is for casadas, o si no sabemos si está casada, pero ya se ve casada. Okay. And for the boys, mm. Mr. So in this case, you use it with the last name. Se ocupa con el apellido, right? Mr. Rafael Antonio, welcome. Yes. Lo ha logrado. Uh -huh. I can uh, put like it for uh, para mujeres las tres. Ah, okay. You say Miss. Es el primero. Miss. 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 Is the first one, right, Miss? Miss, this is Miss is the same, Miss and Mrs. Okay, estos dos se pronuncian similares. Los primeros dos se pronuncian similares, pero se escriben distinto, right? Miss and Miss. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one is Mrs. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Okay, esos se pronuncian igual, pero se escriben diferente, and the meaning is different. And Mister, right, for the men. Hernan. Tell me. Um, for example, Miss USA. Uh -huh. It's uh, Señorita. 
Ajá. Estados Unidos. Ok, ok. Yeah. Miss okay. USA. And also for the teachers. In the teachers, you say, Miss, mire, Miss, Miss. Es señorita de, de señorita de, de teacher. Ok, that's the meaning of Miss. Say, Miss Flores, right? Señorita Flores. Ah, can you use it? Right. That is the use, right? Miss eh, también se ocupa para, eh, en el caso de las maestras en escuela, es bien común que le digan, Miss. That it's like the lady, the young lady. Okay, Miss. And for the boys, Mister, Mister todos. Ese es un misterio sin resolver. Eh, Mister. Teacher, particularmente, perdón, prácticamente sería como un título, ¿verdad? Yes, es, todos esos son títulos. Okay. Señora de, señor mm -hmm. de. Ok. Yo le digo a mi esposo, yo te voy a poner el apellido de casado, ¿verdad? Right? Mr. Monterrosa. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It is, it is unfair. Okay. Es que, ay, no, es que se me, el anillo, se, no lo quiero arruinar, por eso no me lo pongo. Ay, 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 ay. Yes. Ajá. A ver, señores casados aquí. Who? ¿Quiénes son los señores casados de mi grupo? No van a negar. <laughs> <laughs> Magdiel, Magdiel, with honor. Good, 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 good. Uh -huh. Todos los demás escondieron la mano. Vamos Ale a... Nilton hasta se fue de la... <laughs> Vamos a poner un screenshot. But I, I don't have race. <laughs> Horacio, right? Horacio raised his hand, right? He was like, yes, with honor, right? Merit, right? So you say, good. And then I have my, my ladies that all of them are miss, right? Aquí solo señoritas tengo. A lot of me's. <laughs> Let's practice the conversation. Okay, Horacio con mucho orgullo levantó su mano. Okay, ¿lo levantó de casado o también tenía otra pregunta? Horacio. Casado. Ha casado, con mucho orgullo. Y hasta con el anillo puesto la mano. Good. The next one. Let's read the conversation. Go with me. Excuse me, I am looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Excuse me, I am looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who, is, who she is? Okay, everybody. Thank you, Aleida, for saving the group. Aleida siempre salva el grupo, you see? <laughs> One, two, three. Excuse me, I am looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Excuse sure. me, I am looking, looking for, for Mrs. Chavez. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? I see. Could you tell me about her responsibilities? Responsibilities. 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 Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team or recruiters. Basically, she provides recruiting support for the administrative support for the team of recruiters. 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 I understand. I understand. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? And does uh, Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Yes. Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? Where, Where can, can I reach him? him? He returns at one o'clock. 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 Okay, tell me, who is Mrs. Chavez? Who is Mrs. Chavez? He is a talent management consultant. And Mrs. Chavez. 
Um, Re recruitment coordinator. She's a recruitment coordinator, right? Recruitment coordinator. And what do you think uh, Mr. Chen does? This is Mr. Chen, right? Mr. Chen. What do you think is his job? He's looking for to HR receptionist. A receptionist? Mm. Okay, Mr. Shen is the one that is looking for everybody. El que anda preguntando por todo mundo. What do you think is her is his position? Mr. Manager. HR resources. Human. Okay. He is from human resources. Good. Or he is the manager. Or maybe he's a supervisor. We never know. Because he's looking for different people. Owner. Or the owner, right? You never know. He might be the owner, right? Uh -huh. Jose Luis Ramo, donde lo encuentro? If I, go, if I go to your company and I say, I am looking for Jose Luis Ramos, where can I find him? Donde lo encuentro? <laughs> El que abre, el que cierra, el que barre, el que limpia. Everybody, right? Okay. ¿A, a dónde me mandarían? Si voy a, a, a su oficina, me mandarían para recursos humanos. ¿Para dónde me mandarían? No, we don't have that department. They maybe say it's in the office only because we don't have any department like that. Okay, he's there. Yes. Bueno, lo más, pro there. lo más probable es que él abriera la puerta, ¿verdad? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm looking for Jose Luis. It's me. And what are you doing? I work. Who else with me? <laughs> if I look for Aleida in her company, where uh, would I find you? Para donde me mandaría? Um, she's in the accounting department. She's in the accounting department, right? Go and look for her. She is in the accounting department. And for sure, if I go to the call center, I will find Carla Flores in the entrance. A Carlita la encuentro en la entrada. En la entrada. Right? <laughs> she's right there, right, right in front of, of the door, right? Because she's the receptionist. So for sure, you will find her exactly at the entrance. Here, I have uh, some definitions, right? In this one, we are going to work a lot on reading and a lot of vocabulary. We have four different positions. We have a recruitment coordinator, the benefits specialist, the talent management consultant, and the human resources generalist, right? For all these positions, you need a bachelor's degree. What is a bachelor's degree? Una licenciatura, right? You need a bachelor's degree for all of these ones, right? In El Salvador, it's kind of complicated because there are many people in these areas that are not and that do not have a bachelor's degree, but they have the knowledge, right? What are the different activities that a recruitment coordinator does? Can you help me to read them? ¿Qué hace un coordinador? de atracción de talento. It organizes schedules of candidate interviews. A recruitment es un uno de atracción de talento, right? Un reclutador. That's the meaning of recruitment, right? The first activity organizes schedules for interviews. ¿Qué más? Open and post requisition. Requisitions, right? Opens and posts the requisitions. ¿Dónde pueden encontrar este tipo de eh, anuncios? ¿Dónde podemos encontrar este tipo de anuncios de trabajo? The requisitions. In different platforms like LinkedIn. Uh -huh. or maybe Facebook. Facebook. On Facebook, <laughs> on LinkedIn. What else? In the Coloco, right? In Computarabajo. And you can find it in many different places. In the newspaper, right? Google. In Google, right? In Google. Trabajo en El Salvador. <laughs> and you find many, right? 
coordinates internal and internet job postings, right? All the ones that we are mentioning, todos los que estamos mencionando, right? Has a degree in management, works with and supports a recruiting team, has five or more years of experience, works on weekdays, and in some cases only part-time. Do you work part-time or full-time, people? Full time. Full time. Full time. Full time. Full time. Okay. Depending, right? Depending. Okay. Full time. Most of us work full time. For the benefits specialist, it says, right, develops and maintains competitive and progressive and proactive compensation plans, right? Esos son los que trabajan con los planes de beneficios para los empleados. Creates cost-effective benefit programs to provide motivation, incentives, rewards for effective performance. It is very common to see this, for example, in the call centers, right? In the call centers, they, they have benefits for attendance, for uh, professionalism, for metrics, for calls. Ahí tienen como un, una cuestión de bonos. A lot, a lot of different bonus, uh, bonus and rewards for performance. Do you have performance bonus in your job, people? Tienen, yes, uh -huh. I have it, teacher. You have yes, it. Yes, teacher, I have two. That's so nice. What about the rest ones? No, I haven't. I don't have. It's like, good job, Nati. I am the, I am the one who's giving the reward. Como no, no tengo quien me diga, yo me digo yo misma. Muy bien, Nati. I am like, I am like José Luis. Yo soy como José Luis. Yo abro, cierro, limpio, cocino, barro, doy la misa, pido la, la, la cooperacha. Teacher, the bonus performance for you. Congratulations, congratulations, teacher Nati. Uh, it's like, yeah. You will, you, you will, you will have in the next level the same, the, the yeah. same experience. Hey, I'm going to have my same group. Yeah, eso sería un gran regalo para mí. That would be nice, right? You will have the same students in the next module. Yeah. That would be nice. A bonus for me. Works on weekdays, has a part-time job. And you require three years of experience or a little bit more in that position. What about the talent management consultant? ¿Cuáles son sus responsabilidades? What about the first one? Leámosla. Bachelor's degree. It's a bachelor's degree. Responsible for leadership development, career development. Good. What about the next one? Accessor per, performance, learning, and depor, deportment. Development. D development. As, okay. Assesses development. performance, learning, and development. The development. talent the talent management es el que anda siempre encima de que los trabajadores se sigan preparando. Right? Ese fue el que estuvo apoyando a usted para que se metiera a estudiar inglés. That is the talent management consultant. Works on Saturdays, has a full-time job, and it requires more than one year of experience. And the last one, the human resources generalist. He maintains knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources, right? Este es el que está encima de todos los trabajadores. Response to inquiries, inquiries are questions regarding policies, procedures, and programs, right? Inquiries, it's questions. Works on Saturdays, has a part-time job in some cases, and you need five years or more of experience. Okay, that is the human resources generalist. And uh, here we have, right, the three different uh, forms, right? The recruitment coordinator is the one that we started here, right? 
who works a lot on getting the personal, right? The how many years of experience needs the recruitment coordinator people? Five this, years. Five years, five years right? It requires five Maybe. years of experience. And uh, in which days does he work? The recruitment coordinator. What days does he work? Works uh, on weekdays. On weekdays, very good. How many years of experience do you need to be a benefit specialist? Three years. Three years. What about a talent management consultant? One year. Only one year. And for the human resources? Five years. Five years of experience, right? Five years mm -hmm. of experience. Now, I am going to go here back to my presentation because we are going to have a little bit of teamwork time. We are going to work together and we are going to work building something special. We are going to be creating the perfect boss. Okay, we are going to create the perfect boss. With your group, you are going to give me characteristics that you consider that the perfect boss needs to have. Lo vamos a armar entre todos. Le voy a dar un pedacito de plastilina para que lo arme. <laughs> you are going to build up the perfect boss. And you are going to tell me what characteristics do you need in order to create a perfect boss, okay? For this one, I am going to have only three groups because I need to have big groups of people and uh, you are going to work together, okay? And yes, I think we have enough. I am going to send you to working groups and I need you to take notes, okay? I need you to take notes and create the perfect boss. No me decir que sea alto, verde, guapo, no. That, that's not necessary, okay? Que sea bonita, que sea rubia, que sea no sé qué, un ochenta, no sé cuánto. No, I need the characteristics, okay? The characteristics of a perfect boss. Vamos a ver cómo lo arma cada grupo. Let's go to the groups right now. Let's go to work. Okay, for the ones that are listening, uh, you can join the groups. So you can actually uh, like kind of participate or listening to what your friends are going to be doing. Okay, you can join the group that you have been assigned.
Claro. No ok, ahorita lo anoto. Eh, um, about the, uh, the area. The... Mm, and has the experience. Uh -huh. Have a union in the area, ¿verdad? Sí. Knowledge. 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 Knowledge, you say. Knowledge. There you go. And remember that the chat erases when we finish the group, ¿ok? <laughs> Recuerden que el chat se borra cuando salimos del grupo, así que vayamos a guardarlo oh, en otro lado. Por favor, no. No, no, no. No, I know. Que el, no, le, que le digo que cuando nos salimos del grupo, el chat se borra. Entonces, este, ah, para que lo tengan en sí, cuenta y lo vayan guardando en otro. Vengo viniendo y cansado. Ay, no, ay, no. Sí, hoy sí, desde, desde ayer. Ya, pero ya se siente mejor, Rafael. Eh, ayer venía cansado, dice, en esta mañana. Ah, you were sick. Ok, I no sé, you were sick. 12 horas de driver. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Continue, continue. Okay. okay. Hello. 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 Questions? No? Yeah, in, in this case, uh, say department. Uh -huh. Department. Department in the company or department in the country uh, how do you say it or, or or what do you mean what what is the question in this part uh -huh. it says department uh -huh. el departamento de so it's like la como la oficina o el, el, el... Ah, okay. uh -huh. Uh -huh. that's the meaning of department in that case right? okay excellent So you have the accounting department, the sales department, the marketing department. Inside the company, you have these different locations that is, they yeah. are called departments. Okay. But in the case, uh, we put the general manager. Uh-huh. So in this case? You don't need to use the, the, the department word. Department. Okay. No. Porque el general okay. manager se refiere a la profesión o al, al cargo. Uh -huh. el, el department es para la oficina de. Ok. Por ejemplo, si, si you, have, if you have accounting department, es la oficina o el departamento de contaduría. Uh -huh. But the person is the accountant. La persona okay. es el contador, the accountant. Ok, so you don't, you don't need to use to use department. it like that. Okay. But right now you are going to describe, for example, Uh, the perfect boss. How does this person have to be? The person it has to take care of the employees. It has to be well prepared. It has to be educated. It has to, how, I mean, ¿cómo sería el, 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 el jefe ideal para ustedes? That's the thing that we are doing right now. Okay, eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. So let's focus on that one. Okay. Okay. I will check okay. on the last group. Okay. Estoy escribiendo nada más. Okay. Hoy todos están de incógnito. Mira, no vemos a ninguno. Bueno, Nelson, porque está afuera. Dicho, para allá mi hijo. No, no Aleida, ya, yeah, for sure. Oh, no, Aleida okay. es la que pone aquí el grupo, aquí, siempre salvando el grupo. <laughs> No, everybody is working here. I know, I know. Ah, Nelson. I'm, I'm ah, here right now. He, he's at home now. Yo lo hacía bailando cumbia. Oh, right. <laughs> Yo bailando lo hacía, por eso ni decía Estoy nada. agarrando aire ahorita que vengo llegando. Ah, pero ah. Pues. Yo dije, ni le hablo a Nelson porque ahorita está en lo mejor de bailar, dije. <laughs> ah, eso lo veía el teléfono. Eh, eh, eh. Las luces trombóticas. Ok, welcome back. We are happy that you are at home. Ok, continue working with your friends. Uh, a boss, com, a comprehensive boss. 
Comprehensive. 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 Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I will check on your friends to see how they are doing. Yeah, that's a bachelor's degree. Esa es una licenciatura. Ah, ok, ok, perdón. ¿Cómo se escribe? Ajá. ¿Cómo se escribe como bachiller? Bachelor. 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 The other one is a high school degree, a high school diploma. Right? A high school diploma es un, un, un diploma de bachillerato. Right? But a bachelor's degree es una licenciatura. It is curious, right? Teacher, in, uh -huh. when we talk about uh, a short bachelor, like, like uh, técnico o profesorado o, o algo más corto que lleva menos tiempo, que well, una licenciatura. Uh -huh. It, they, they have they have their specific names so uh, you are like a uh, a technician on something right un técnico de tal cosa right it's like a technician's degree uh, in my case, if uh -huh. i have a profesorado so that would be like a teacher's a teacher's degree oh, okay that would be a teaching a teaching degree right teaching okay. degree and then you have a bachelor in education, right? A bachelor in education sería ya una licenciatura en educación. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you can have a master's and then a doctorate and then a, a PhD, etc. right? Higher and higher. Okay. Good. So that's, that's the idea, okay. Create your list, organize it, because we are going to come back like in two minutes. So, hurry okay. up. Okay. Okay. Okay, I am going to give your classmates two more minutes for them to work. I will let them know. Two minutes to finish. Okay, let's bring them back.
Welcome back. Okay, so your friends are starting to come back. Let's see. Now all of them are here. Thank you very much. Thank you groups for sharing and uh, for creating, right? We are going to listen to the three different groups and the information that they have to share with us, right? In group number one, I have Blanquita, I have Cesar, Jose Luis, and Rafael. What characteristics do you consider necessary to have the perfect boss? Group one. Tell me. Grupo uno, ¿quién era nuestro speaker asignado? Blanquita, César, José, Rafael. Who's okay, explaining? teacher. Go ahead. Okay. And to be a boss. To be a uh, good boss. Uh -huh. Okay, to be a good boss, you have to be some characteristics. Characteristics. Uh, be a leadership leadership uh -huh. and the experience is very important for this for for this and you have to know to you have the knowledge about the area and uh -huh. uh, we need five five years experience in similar fields okay and also you have to be a proactive person and has to be a service attitude. And, and you have to be a creative and a kind person. And you, uh, you don't have to be a scheduled problems. Okay, and, you, don't, uh -huh. you don't need to have a scheduled problems. Yes, and also a bachelor degree. Okay, you need to have a bachelor degree. You have to have the knowledge of the area, right? And you have to be for sure a people person, right? You need to be good with your team. Very good characteristics for a leader. Very good job. A clap for group number one. Very nice job. Thank you. Group number two, Ellen Nielsen, Horacio, Carla, and Magdiel. What is your perspective of a good boss? Yep. We think that um, the perfect boss could be uh, a respectful person uh -huh. and he could be a good leader. Good. And responsible, strategic, and intelligent, and he could be uh, helpful with employees. And uh, could he could be an um, example to him employees? Okay, he needs to be an example to his or her employees. That's a very good okay. tip, right? That's a very good tip. And mm -hmm. also you mentioned something, right? He has to meet, he has to have the knowledge of the area. That adjective, it's knowledgeable. Knowledgeable es que este sabedor de todo lo que sucede alrededor, right? Knowledgeable. Very good. Thank you very much. Group number two for your definitions of a good boss. Very good. And last but not least, group number three, that is uh, Aleida, Hernan, Nelson, and Raul. Go ahead. Tell me, what are your characteristics for the perfect boss? We 
we are creating the perfect boss. Team number three, tell me. Uh -huh. Todos se miran y nadie contesta. <laughs> and we're like, vos, vos, no, vos, a vos te toca. Uh -huh. Me sentí como en la escuela. Uh -huh. Okay. And the best boss, um, he has to be in leadership. Um, okay, uh -huh. he has to have leadership. Uh -huh. And he has to be in, in, in empathic. Uh -huh. and, and it has to be in professional and to be proactive and a boss uh, with uh, human sense and um boss uh, comprehensive comprehensive uh -huh. comprehensive okay a boss and uh, re uh, respectful and a boss uh, with um patient um, patient no sé patient patient, patient. yeah okay. that was good okay. patient good um, a boss um correct okay she he needs to be integral you say integral integral uh -huh. He needs okay. to be integral, right? Correct, yeah. it's, it's a very Spanish word, right? Tiene que ser correcto, you say. Mm -hmm. For sure, okay. but it needs to be mm -hmm. integral. Good, right? Mm -hmm. What else? And boss, and boss, and well, he's very professional. Professional, right? He needs to be professional. very professional. So that is, yeah. that is uh, some of the, well, those are some of the most important things in order to have a good boss, right? In order to create the best boss, right? The most important is that the, the boss uh, becomes the leader of the team, right? For sure. And the leader is going to create not followers, but other leaders for them to also follow the example of the boss. Very good definitions. I am very happy with your definitions, right? And if you are a boss, I hope that you follow all of them for your team, okay? Before I go to the last exercise, I am going to call the attendance for the last time today. And uh, so we can move on with the last exercise. Remember when you listen to your names are here or present for the ones that were not here before. Let's see, here, here, here. I have Aleida Esmeralda. Here, teacher. Andrea Sofia. Blanca Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo. Cesar Homero. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Ellen Nielsen. Ellen Nielsen. Present teacher. Eric Jose. It's not here. Uh, Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Horacio Jose. Here. Jose Luis Ramos. Present. Juan Francisco. Okay. Yesterday I had my one on one with Jose Luis. Today is the turn of Juan Francisco. And uh, for sure, at the end of the class, please, Juan Francisco, I will stay for a couple of minutes with you. Carla Guadalupe. Present teacher. Nelson Alberto. Here. Paola Elena. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Raul Ernesto. I am here. Wilber Alberto. Jasmine Elizabeth and Magdiel. Present. Thank you very much. Okay. So here on your book, I am going to show it to you. Thank you, uh, Juan Francisco. Thank you very much for answering on the chat. On your manual, 
right? Esto lo tienen en su manual de trabajo. Tienen este perfil, right? The profile form. On this one, I need you to fill it up with your information, right? But this is something that you can do tomorrow during the day. What is the name of your title? What is the name of your position, right? ¿Cuál es el nombre de eh, la posición que usted tiene en su trabajo, right? For example, if it is my case, I said like, what is the name of your position? Eh, facilitadora de idioma inglés para eh, personas que trabajan, right? That would be my job title. The work location, it, right now, the work location is home office, right? In my case, if I am filling it up with my information. Department, eh, teaching. Reports to eh, Inglés Corporativo, right? It's part-time for me. Essential duties and responsibilities to prepare the class, to teach the class for the students, to keep track of your grades, to explain the platform, to follow up on your learning, to follow up in your WhatsApp group, etc., etc. Education and work experience requirements, a bachelor's degree in English teaching, right? Previous experience in similar areas, the employee name. Evelyn Natalie Monterosa, right? And the employee signature, that will be my signature. So this is what you have to fill up, but with your information, okay? Aquí, eh, sí, en, en su manual, lo puede llenar ahí en el mismo PDF, all the information. If you cannot fill it up in the PDF, you can do it in your notebook, okay? Si no lo pueden editar el PDF, lo pueden llenar en su cuaderno, right? But I need you to have this information ready for the class for tomorrow, right? All your job profile. Aquí van a crear su perfil laboral, okay? El nombre de su, de, de, de su puesto, donde trabajan, en qué departamento están, departamento de la oficina, right? A quien reportan directamente. If it is full-time or part-time, your responsibilities, your experience, educational experience, your name and your signature, okay? This is what you are going to be doing for tomorrow's class because you are going to use it tomorrow, okay? We are going to use this one for uh, tomorrow. So please keep an eye on this one. And here you have the different uh, definitions that we were studying today that are right here, right? The recruitment coordinator, the benefit specialist, the talent management are the ones that follow the profiles in your manual, okay? So this is something that we are going to be doing tomorrow in class. And before I finish, I want to explain the activity that we are going to be doing tomorrow in the WhatsApp group, okay? A partir del día de mañana, en la mañana, les voy a compartir una pregunta in the WhatsApp group. And I need you to answer the question in a voice note, okay? La pregunta se va a contestar en una nota de voz. Why? Because I need you to practice your speaking during these last two weeks that we are going to be working together, okay? So I am going to send you a question in the morning any type of question, you are going to say it, and you are going to answer the question in a voice note. It can be during the whole day, okay? It doesn't have to be really prepared. No tiene que estar como totalmente preparada, but the idea is that you produce, right? The idea is that you produce the language, and the idea is that you develop the ability to speak, okay? You can comment on the other people's voice notes, okay? Pueden darle responder a la nota de voz de las otras personas y escribir un comentario escrito, ¿ok? Porque si responden a la nota de voz con otra nota de voz, vamos a tener un solo relajo de notas de voz ahí. Yeah, and it's pretty complicated, believe me. You are going to answer the question with a voice note and you can comment on your friend's answer in chat, ¿ok? Or you can like it, or you can send a sticker, a face, whatever on the person's voice notes. It is good because you can listen to other people speaking, you can listen to yourself speaking, and you can practice, okay? So this is going to happen every morning. Every morning I am going to send you 
a different question and you are going to be practicing your speaking on the answer of the voice note. It is for you to practice, okay? No van a decir, ay, que me da pena, que me van a oír, que no sé qué, que le va a dar chistes y contesto. It's okay. The idea is that you practice your speaking through this exercise, okay? Así que no me va a decir, ay, es que no contesté, teacher, porque me da pena que me oigan. Y en el mundo cuando hablemos inglés, ¿qué va a pasar? Ay, es que no hablo porque me da pena, teacher. No, right? The idea is that you practice. So, in the morning, you are going to receive a topic, a question, and you are going to answer in a voice note. Okay? Respect your friends, people. Respect. No, like, ah, no. please respect your classmates' answers. Listen to them. If you can give some feedback, you can do it. Okay? Si le pueden dar algún feedback en pronunciación o algo que ustedes escucharon que estuvo mal pronunciado, lo pueden hacer, ¿ok? Pero no así como, ah, acuérdate que no es así, right? Nice feedback, ¿ok? Nice feedback for your friends. That is going to happen starting tomorrow, ¿ok? So, I am going to post the question and I'm going to be listening to your voice notes during the day. You can answer during the day or at night or before the class right, or after the class, but in the same day. The idea is that you practice, okay? So that is going to happen tomorrow. Be ready for that, okay, my dear students. And as well, I am going to show you the last thing that we're going to be doing today. And I am just going to ask you questions about it. We have one minute to do this. I know, it's too late. We're going to be describing three different profiles for tomorrow. Teresa, Karen, and Lamar. Así como ustedes van a crear su perfil profesional, we are going to be discussing about these three people, okay? They do different jobs, they do different things. So, I am going to leave this exercise for tomorrow. Se lo puedo dejar para mm -hmm. mañana. Cuando ustedes traigan su perfil listo, vamos a estudiar los tres perfiles que tengo aquí también. Okay? So, no, de la noche. Ay, no, fe, feliz noche, ya nos vamos todos, no tengan pena. <risa> ya nos están sacando de aquí. Es como cuando ahí empezaban a barrer en el pollo campero. <risa> Next to your table, right? Ay, ya, ya se iban, ¿verdad? Poniendo la mesa y la silla en la mesa. Have a beautiful night, my dear class. I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Juan Francisco, I will stay with you for a couple of minutes. Uh, to share a little bit, okay? Okay. Have See a beautiful night. Care. Have a good night, everybody. Bye bye. 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 See you tomorrow, my dear class. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See you tomorrow, my dear students. Bye bye. Bye, Cesar. Hello, Juan Francisco. Hello, hello, Juan Francisco. ¿Me escuchas? Hello, hello, Juan. Hola, Mr. Juan Francisco. Hello, Juan Francisco, can you listen to me? Wow.
Ok, ok. Juancito, hello. Hello, Juan. Francisco, te estoy escribiendo en el chat. Hello, hello, Juan Francisco. Okay. I think Juan Francisco had difficulties with his internet connection. Okay, Juan Francisco didn't have a connection anymore. So I will move your one-on-one -on -one session for a different day. I will just stay here for a while to see if he can connect again.
I didn't get any answer back from Juan Francisco. Okay. Well, that's it for today then. Have a good night. Thank you.